Dr. Toy is here. Today we're going to be talking about Alcon's new dry eye disease drop, Tryptor, which hits the TRPM8 receptor, Tryptam 8 receptor, which is a receptor that's stimulated by cold to produce more tears. You have these receptors on your cornea, you have your, these receptors on the lids. If you've been a patient of mine or have read any of my things or seen any of my videos, for years and years and years, I've been saying no to warm compresses. Warm compresses to the lids just bring more inflammation. They inflame the talonjectasias to bring more inflammatory mediators to the spot. Uh, they break down the epidermis, leaving you uh, more susceptible to uh, bacterial endemidex overgrowth. We've been about cold, 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 cold compresses and cold drops. You're hearing more and more about cold because we know that cold actually stimulates not only the TRPM8 receptors, but they also uh, stimulate the FOXO genes. The FOXO genes are the genes that give you long life and make your cells uh, work better. Now, people are getting very excited about this drop, but we've been hitting these receptors for years and years by doing cold compresses and also finding a drop that you can put in the refrigerator to keep cold. Two drops that we use in cold form is PRP, so those are kept in the fridge. So not only are you getting platelet-rich plasma that has nerve growth factor and anti-inflammatory mediators and insulin-like growth factor, but it's cold, so it hits the Tripum 8 uh, receptor. The other drop that I've been using cold is oculosin, which is an all natural drop of aloe vera, chamomile, and propolis uh, that you can keep in the fridge. It's uh, preservative free, it's, you can recap it, and you can hit these receptors. I don't think this is going with the uh, tryptor. It's gonna be any different than what we were seeing by doing cold compresses and the oculosin but we will have to see once it gets out there and we're using it on patients and see what the response is. But the hope is, is that it stimulates the eye to produce more tears and that will help uh, some patients. But in the meantime, cold compresses, uh, two, I tell people two minutes of a cold compress on the lids and then a drop of cold oculosin.